Do you remember that scene in Game of Thrones where there was a coffee mug placed on the table? Well, possibly one of the most heavily trolled scenes of Game of Thrones and also, if you remember, so many memes were made out of it. Today, talking about coffee and since winter is here, I thought I'll make one of my favorite coffees, Cafe Macchiato. Hey guys, it's me, the Bombay Chef Varun Namdar, and welcome to Raj Shri Food. Let's begin with Coffee Macchiato. For this coffee especially, I'm going to use these shot glasses. Well, shot glasses are not really required for this recipe. Even if you have these little transparent glass cups, they just work perfectly. In fact, those are the cups that you're supposed to use for something like this because there's a distinct layer. Of course, when we keep going and once I keep explaining to you what it is all about, then you'll come to know what I'm saying. But otherwise, for all of you who just kind of don't know what this coffee is, it's espresso right at the bottom and a little bit of foamed milk and just a dot of coffee. How that happens? Well, we'll move into that slowly. Primarily, we're supposed to make two different mixtures. One, which is your sweetened milk. Again, how sweet, how less sweet, that's completely personal. But the first mixture is sweetened milk and the second mixture is coffee. So basically, it's coffee and water together. As simple as that. The milk will be just lightly formed, not heavily formed in, in case how we do a cappuccino or coffees like that. Just lightly formed and then we begin. So let's begin with the first step and that is making espresso. I'm taking coffee powder and to this I'm going to add in water. Well, I personally like this in the ratio of 1 is to 3. So basically it's one part of coffee and three parts of water. Now I know that's very strong, but I like it that way. Let's put this on absolutely low flame and allow this to simmer. It has to become nice and concentrated because that's how you get the most amazing espresso. Now this mixture can be made using three different methods. The first one is using dried coffee beans, which are roasted and ground. Now that's one. The second one is exactly the way we make filter coffee with a mixture of chicory and coffee beans, if you remember. Now, this could also be made the French press style. And the third one is the method that I'm deploying and that one is using instant coffee. Well, one of my most favorite methods of making, of course, for the purists, we'll always stick to the first two, but this one, it's just wonderful and home style. Stir this well, allow this to dilute, just let it come to a little bit of a boil and it also kind of concentrates if you continue boiling it, don't make it too concentrated because then the bitter notes kind of become too prominent. Let's move on to the second mixture and that is milk and sugar. Like I said, sugar is as per choice. So let's add in milk. And to this, I'm adding in a teaspoon and a half of sugar. Now, like I said earlier, I do not like my coffees extremely sweet. I know some of you like it really sugary and really extremely sweet, but I like it just like that. Now, while both these mixtures are getting cooked, let's move into our next segment, which is knowledge is power. Cafe Macchiato, well, the name could sound very intimidating, but trust me, it's very simple. It's also known as Espresso Macchiato. Now, because there's a good use of espresso in this, espresso is primarily important and that goes with lightly formed milk. Now, if you literally translate it in Italian, Macchiato could mean stained or marked. Now, if you bring all of that together, it's also marked coffee or stained coffee. Let's move in to check if this is done and ready. While the milk is bubbling here, let me quickly pick a whisk. Of course, this flame. And this has to be lightly foamed, lightly whipped. Our milk is lightly foamed and ready. Now, if you think about how coffee is generally made, it's always espresso first and then you add in the milk, right? In this case, it's the complete reverse. So I also like to call this my reverse coffee because the first thing that goes in is the foamed milk and then you top it up with espresso. Isn't that funny? But that's how it's made. Let me add in the lightly foamed milk and then spoon in the little bit of froth. And next is a little bit of that wonderful foam. That's where you get the stain or the mark. So this is very important. The next is to add in this wonderful concentrated coffee syrup 
or espresso as we call it. It's what I do. I drink and I know things. Well, this is coffee. You know who said this dialogue in Game of Thrones? If you know that, let me know in the comment section below. Make Cafe Macchiato for yourself, your family, your friends. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and see what I get in the next episode. Bye for now.